This is Robert Merdlachi of the Mindshare Learning Report, Canada's Learning and Technology e-magazine. And welcome to this week in Canadian EdTech Special Edition. I'm honored to have joined me for a Mindshare Learning Moment. Lay Merrifield, the founder of award-winning Fresh Grade and Club Penguin, the newest dragon on CBC's Dragon's Den, adventurer, explorer, artist, musician, and pilot. Lane, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's great to chat with you today. So uh, we're smack in the middle of one of the most transformational, technologically transformational periods in our lives, mm -hmm. given COVID-19. And I understand, Offer, you mentioned that you had uh, been impacted, and but you're fine now. Yep. Family yeah, as well. I'd, I'd gotten sick. Uh, thankfully, I kept myself quarantined, uh, got through it, took about two, three weeks, but I'm back to normal now. Excellent. Good to hear. And any advice for uh, people out there? Uh, I mean, I've heard it's quite different for everyone. For me, it was just, a, you know, it's all the typical advice, a lot of rest, a lot of water, um, and, uh, and then avoiding everyone. You know, that, I got sick because someone ignored the symptoms and didn't, uh, didn't, avoid, didn't quarantine. And so obviously right now that's more important than ever. Well, I'm glad to see you're back at, in the saddle, if you will. But, so most recently, you're best known for being the newest dragon on Dragon's Den. What's that experience been like so far? It's, you know, it's great. I, I, it's a lot of fun. Um, it is, it's a lot of work because we shoot the entire uh, season um, in about three, two to three weeks. Wow. So we go intense. 10 to 12 hour days, uh, six days a week for those three weeks. Um, but, uh, but I love the chance to meet so many entrepreneurs from across Canada uh, and truly across Canada. I mean, they go, right. they, they do auditions everywhere. So people, I get to meet people from the Yukon all the way over to, you know, both islands on both coasts and, and everywhere in between. So it's a lot of fun. Um, it's inspirational. You hear some amazing stories and get to meet some great people. Uh, I'm loving it. Excellent. So uh, you also, uh, and I'm not sure everyone's aware of this, but you were uh, the innovator behind Club Penguin with two partners and sold, you didn't go into the sail into the sunset, as they say. You were passionate about education and you launched uh, Fresh Grade, uh, award winning Fresh Grade, an assessment and digital uh, portfolio for education. Mm -hmm. What inspired that? <laughs> well, uh, as you mentioned, I'm passionate about education. My mom was a lifelong teacher. Uh, just retired a couple of years ago. Um, my sister is now a principal of a, of a school and, and obviously is a lifelong educator as well. So it's, even though I haven't per personally been a right. teacher, uh, it's in my family and in my blood. Um, Through and, osmosis, perhaps. Yeah, exactly. But, I, but, you know, a lot of it came down to being raised in a teacher's home. You see the patterns and you see the cycles, you know, from back to school night and, and the report card season and, and, and what I realized now, then, as I had my own kids coming out of Club Penguin, um, first of all, we had access to incredible data as it relates to kids' entertainment. And by the way, my kids I, were power users at Club Penguin today. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. So you know, coming when I was leaving Disney and trying to kind of figure out what challenge I wanted to take on next, I realized I had this wealth of information as it related to my child's entertainment but I still had almost nothing in terms of data as it related to my child's education. Right. And obviously one is far more important than the other. Uh, and, and the more I dug into it, and I was going to my own kids' parent-teacher conferences, the more I realized, oh my gosh, this hasn't changed in 30 years um, since my mom was doing parent-teacher conferences back in the day when I was a kid. And so I realized, you know what, uh, someone needs to do something about this. And, and and it wasn't about trying to go in and fix and change all of education. But we, what right. we were really setting out to do was say, you know what, there's no reason why I should know more about what my aunt did on her recent vacation uh, via social media than I know right. about what my daughter did in class yesterday. And, and it seems crazy that, um, that we, weren't, we were sharing all this wealth of data in every other facet of our lives, but the classroom was still a bit of a black box. And so the, all, all we really set out to do originally was to create a great tool that made it really easy for parents and teachers and students to stay connected and to show right. up all the, the great learning that's happening in the classroom. And so one of the interesting things I find when, when I have conversations uh, with ed tech leaders, I ask, you know, what is the top of mind digital portfolio 
Like there's, there hasn't been a branded portfolio that captures all the learning that kids mm -hmm. are experiencing that should stay with them along their career path through, yeah. uh, through education. And, and you're looking to fill a void. We are in one of the most transformational periods technologically, as I said earlier, because of the remote learning required for kids. Every teacher is using technology in some form. Uh, yeah. I was speaking with a, a CIO from a school district they won't mention recently. It's fairly sizable. And they said they anticipated that perhaps some teachers might retire earlier than expected because they don't want to necessarily embrace it. But it's a great opportunity to experience true personalization and having the parents play a, perhaps a greater role. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, what we're seeing right now is incredible, truly unprecedented growth uh, with fresh grade. And I think one of the reasons why is because, you know, there's other, there's other portfolio tools out there, but a lot of them, we call them kind of scrapbook portfolios. It was almost more like a way to showcase what's happening in the classroom, but right. it wasn't about capturing the learning and then being able to assess that learning and then being able to um, communicate about that learning. It was more about, you know, kind of a, a, a photo gallery of here's some things that are happening in the classroom. And with fresh grade, we set out to say, we want to be able to capture the learning capture the heart of what um, education is all about, and then, and then allow that to be communicated freely. And so I think for us right now, the irony is we set out to say, okay, well, there's gonna be teachers and students who are gonna be in the classroom and the parent is gonna be remote somewhere. And right. we want it to feel very fluid to have that conversation happening in real time. Now we've got the student and the parent who are in the home classroom all day long, right. and the teacher who is remote. Uh, and and yet the tool works the same way, the same way that we wanted everyone to feel connected around the learning and around what was happening day to day. Um, we're finding that the, the tool works, you know, the same way it always has. Right. It's just instead of the parent being remote, now it's the teacher that's being remote. And, and it's been amazing to see, you know, we've grown even just in the last few weeks over 600%. Uh, that's year over incredible. Year from, from what we've seen before. Well, the only major resistance that I could see from students is that this might take away their snow days. <laughs> well, it's certainly going to change things. That's for sure. Uh, you know, I mean, no one can predict the future and I'm not one to say, Oh, it's going to be all this or all that. I think, right. I, I, I do think, um, I do think there's going to be some hybrid of right. this reality. And I think what it's going to do is it's going to allow everyone to be more comfortable, whether they're at the office, whether, whether it's through in the school system, whatever, everyone's going to be a little bit more comfortable with utilizing technology more fluidly in order to connect um, when you can't connect in person as easily. And, um, and I think it's gonna just, it's gonna change the dynamic. And frankly, I think it's good. There's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of educational tools out there that are so fixated on the classroom and so fixated right. on, on one mechanic and one mechanic alone. I think it's gonna be hard for them going forward because the reality is the future that we're gonna see is just gonna be a lot more dynamic, a lot more fluid, um, a lot more tech friendly and hopefully I mean our goal every day is to wake up and make teachers lives easier not harder right um, and so hopefully that's going to be taking place as well and, and true personalization uh, of learning yeah. for kids uh, which is awesome and so you've got a new uh, version coming out uh, sometime soon yeah so we we about a year ago um, launched a beta version of our new platform we were working on kind of engineering a brand new platform from the ground up because fresh grade and you know, had kind of uh, uh, grown and evolved over the years, but, but it was the same platform. It was on the same platform that it was originally on right. six, seven years ago. So it was time for some new technology and time for us to kind of revamp that. Plus, we'd gotten a lot of requests from teachers um, of features that they wanted that we weren't able to do on the old platform. So we took all of that. We've been pouring in for last year on beta testing this platform and getting it ready for prime time. And I'm, I'm excited that, uh, you know, even before all this COVID stuff happened, we were, we were lining up to launch it this summer and uh, in preparation for the fall. And the, the interesting thing in, uh, about it is we'd been doing all this work for over a year, not knowing obviously something like COVID was going to happen. Right. But the timing right now is, um, is working out for us because we're right in the finishing touches of adjusting and tweaking things, getting ready for launch. And so we're learning things every day right now with what's happening and pouring that learning into this new platform. And I think when it launches and people start using it, 
it's going to feel like it was custom made just for this kind of an experience. Well, there's something to be said about agile business planning and agile mm -hmm. learning, isn't there? Oh yeah. I mean, I, I'm telling every startup that I work with and talk to and mentor, uh, I'm telling them all right now, do not assume you're going to go back to your old strategy. Do not assume right. that everything's just going to go back to the way it was. Throw it out, sit down with your team and start again and build something new. And the, and the companies that are going to be the most successful coming out of this and the companies that recover the fastest coming out of this are going to be those that are the most flexible and those that learn and, and don't just assume we're going to go back to the way it was. Well, great advice for the startups in, in, uh, in the ed tech space and belong. Well, I like to say it's never been a more exciting time to be in education. Lane, thank you so much for your time, taking time out of your busy schedule. And uh, have you started filming for next season as of yet? Or? Well, we were, we were supposed to be right in the middle of it right now, actually. Oh, wow. But, but unfortunately, it got, it got postponed like everything else. So we're, we're right now hoping we can get into the studio in August or September. Um, and obviously, I'll have a bit of a delayed start. But uh, right now, we've had over a thousand virtual applicants. And so we're, we're hoping to still do the, do, do the season if we can. Well, we'll be watching for you. Again, thank you so much for your time today. That was Lane Merrifield, the founder and CEO of Freshgrade and uh, newest dragon on the hit show Dragon's Den. My name is Robert Merdlach the Mindshare Learning Report. Be sure to check out W Mindshare Learning to get your latest issue. And until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and keep the learning curve steep.